National polio campaign led by the Ministry of Health and Child Care to prevent the resurgence of polio in Zimbabwe. And please mark that word resurgence because we don't have as we speak. As you may be aware, the last official case of wild polio virus in Zimbabwe was in 1989. And this led to the country being certified as polio free by the WHO in 2005. And this achievement was premised upon a very high childhood immunization coverage, government leadership, and coordination with partners. While Zimbabwe remains polio free as of today, we are all aware of the risk that we are faced with due to the recent outbreak in neighboring countries of Malawi and Zimbabwe <coughs> that started earlier this year. I therefore commend the leadership of the government of Zimbabwe and the support of partners in taking proactive actions through the polio supplementary immunization activities that is being launched today to reinforce the immunity of all children that are less than five years old across the country. Honorable Deputy Minister, ladies and gentlemen, if polio exists anywhere, it is a threat to children everywhere. The polio virus knows no geographic boundaries, does neither knows geographic borders, and it can easily spread and paralyze children wherever it lands. And the impact of polio paralysis on children is lifelong, as we know that a paralyzed child will not be able and may not be able to achieve their full potential, and by extension will have an impact on their family, the society, and on the nation. Our efforts today, therefore, at preventing polio remains the most cost-effective action that guarantee the quality of life for all children in the country. We have the tool to prevent polio, and that is the polio vaccine. And that vaccine has led to a global reduction of more than 99% in the total cases of polio in the world. A few countries are left behind but the vaccine has drastically reduced polio by more than 99%. Uh, just to share with you that specifically the Center for Disease Control has estimated that since 1988, when the polio vaccine has been introduced more aggressively, we have actually prevented polio cases in more than 10 million children from being paralyzed from polio, and we have saved the lives of more than half a million children by, with that singular action. This is in addition to the economic benefit that comes with polio eradication, where we can actually allocate resources to address other child health care issues. On behalf of the Global Polio Eradication Initiative Partners, that is comprised of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Center for Disease Control, Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, Rotary International, UNICEF, and WHO, I would like to congratulate the government of Zimbabwe on this very important effort. I also you want to use this opportunity to reassure the government of Zimbabwe on the continuing support from UNICEF to work and support the leadership of the government in coordinating the response to advance social mobilization and community engagement for uptake of the vaccination, to help with procurement of vaccine, vaccine security and management, and be part of the monitoring of the action under the leadership of the Ministry of Health. Allow me, the Honorable Deputy Minister, to commend the partnership that we have received and support from the government of Japan, ECHO, the HDF partners that include the UK, Ireland, Sweden, and the EU, and more importantly, Gavi, around the cold chain investment in the country, which we are leveraging to make the vaccine safe for children as we go. Lastly, Honorable Deputy Minister, ladies and gentlemen, Zimbabwe has successfully rolled out the COVID vaccination campaign. Zimbabwe has also rolled out the measles vaccination campaign and both with excellent results. I therefore have no doubt that under the leadership of the Ministry of Health and Child Care, this 
polio campaign will also be successful. And I look forward to being in the field with the vaccination and also with the government officials as we continue to work together to save our children. I thank you very much. I'd like to start by commending the government of Zimbabwe through the Ministry of Health and Child Care for the ongoing interventions to protect children in Zimbabwe against the risk of infection by polio virus. The polio vaccination campaign that is being launched today is one such intervention. As Dr. Oyewale has mentioned, the risk of polio importation into Zimbabwe significantly increased following the confirmation of polio in our neighboring countries. Since then, many countries in our sub-region, Southern Africa, have conducted a polio campaigns such as the one Zimbabwe is going to start tomorrow. So we are really uh, delighted that Zimbabwe is also undertaking this activity to protect their children in this country. Over the last weeks and months, health workers across the country have been working very hard to prepare for this campaign, working with their colleagues from other ministries, other government departments, working with religious leaders, political leaders, community leaders, working with staff from partner organizations, from voluntary organizations, <coughs> from community-based organizations, from the private sector, and with you, the members of the media, to prepare for this campaign. We commend you all. We commend all those who have been working very hard to bring us to this day. We call on all parents in all communities to take advantage of this campaign over the next few days and present their children for vaccination. And we call upon all of us in our different capacities to support parents to take their children, including the parents in the most hard to reach and vulnerable communities. The role of the media in this regard cannot be overemphasized. And we hope that we all do our part to ensure that Zimbabwe gets the highest uh, vaccination coverage during this campaign. To ensure that polio is kept out of Zimbabwe, it will also be important to strengthen routine immunization, uh, the routine immunization program, which, like all other essential health services, suffered during the COVID-19 pandemic period, as well as to strengthen disease surveillance. Again, we'd like to acknowledge the Ministry of Health and Child Care for the efforts that have already begun in this regard. We at the World Health Organization are very grateful to the government of Zimbabwe, to local and international partners and donors who continue to provide technical, material, and financial resources for polio, for Zimbabwe to remain polio free. We pledge our total com commitment at the World Health Organization to working with you all to keep Zimbabwe polio free. Thank you. Of course, before I go into my prepared speech, I just want to really make it clear that as Zimbabwe, as a country, we are going to do our best and we are going to keep out polio out of our borders. Two, we are going to continue making sure that routine polio immunizations and other immunizations will continue. So, in short, this will be the gist of my long speech. It is my honor and privilege, fellow Zimbabweans, to address you today as we mark yet another significant milestone in the delivery of a life-saving vaccine to children by the government through the Ministry of Health and Child Care. Today, we officially launch a mass campaign to vaccinate and protect all children under the age of five years in Zimbabwe against polio. Polio is a dangerous disease which causes debilitating paralysis and death, particularly among children, and is targeted for eradication globally. No polio case has been reported in Zimbabwe so far. 
And vaccination remains the main strategy for us to mitigate potential importation of this disease. The national polio vaccination drive, which we launch today, is being implemented in close collaboration with four other countries in the region, namely Malawi, Mozambique, Tanzania, and Zambia, in the spirit of regional integration. It is part of a raft of public health measures we are implementing to respond and mitigate the impact of the re-emerging polio outbreak so far reported in Malawi and Mozambique. The administration of two rounds of supplementary doses of oral polio vaccine, or PV in abbreviation, to all children under five years is a cost-effective public health measure to boost protection levels among our children and avert, avert importation of the polio virus from affected countries. It is common knowledge that we share strong socioeconomic and historical links with both affected countries, Malawi and Mozambique, and there are high chances of cross-border spread of the disease. Children below, the, below five years here in Zimbabwe are therefore at high risk of contracting polio, hence the ministry's drive to protect them and safeguard the immunization gains of yesteryear. In addition to the vaccination drive, other components of the comprehensive response to polio informed by the polio risk assessment conducted by the Ministry of Health include 1. Intensified surveillance and active search for acute flaccid paralysis. 2. High-level advocacy to commit key stakeholders to polio eradication. 3. Training and equipping health workers at all levels for outbreak preparedness and response. Four, community engagement awareness campaigns on polio. These will be completed by long-term measures such as continued strengthening of the routine immunization program and the establishment of environmental <laughs> surveillance for polio viruses in addition to the existing acute flaccid paralysis AFP surveillance for better protection of our children. The first round of polio vaccination in Zimbabwe is running from the 27th to the 30th of October 2022, while the second round is scheduled for the 1st to the 4th of December 2022, targeting all children below five years of age, regardless of vaccination status. In the spirit of leaving no one behind, the Ministry of Health and its partners have made significant investments in deploying teams to conduct house-to-house -house and door-to-door -door polio mobilization and vaccination in all areas of the country for the four campaign days. This is in addition to all the health facilities in the country which will also be administering the polio vaccine throughout this period. Further, the ministry has planned to for special mobile teams to cover all hard-to-reach areas in the country and reach out to all targeted children. Sufficient oral polio vaccine have been procured and together with all other campaign resources have been pre-positioned in all provinces, districts, and health facilities. And our teams are prepared to hit the ground running from tomorrow. With adequate stakeholders' support and cooperation, the Ministry is geared to achieve and even surpass the target of vaccinating and protecting at least 95% of the 2,566,800 children under five years in this country. The planned vaccination drive feeds into the broader government vision of a healthy and prosperous nation as enshrined 
in the national health strategy and the national development strategy one, it is imperative to note that the national vision for 2030 cannot be achieved in the context of disruptive outbreaks of preventable disease such as polio, measles, and any other emerging and re-emerging diseases. Hence, in addition to targeting this disease for elimination and eradication, the ministry is also investing in retooling and modernizing the country's health delivery systems to match these emerging demands and reach everyone everywhere with essential public health services, including vaccination. Preparations for the polio vaccination campaign were done with technical and funding support from WHO, UNICEF, Gavi, the Global Polio Eradication Initiative, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Rotary Club, Crown Agencies, and other partners. I want to acknowledge and thank these and other progressive partners of the ministry for complementing government efforts and investing in reaching all children with life-saving vaccines, we cherish the good work. May I also acknowledge the ministry teams at all levels that worked hard for the success of this national vaccination drive and encourage all to continue until we reach out to all children as planned. I conclude my remarks by inviting all communities and leaders at all levels to head the recent call by the His Excellency, the President, and make sure all children, regardless of religion, are vaccinated and protected during this period. This, is, this call also applies to all other ongoing national vaccination drives like COVID-19, measles, measles, and routine childhood vaccination. Let us unite for the common goal to keep Zimbabwe and the rest of the region polio-free by having all our children vaccinated. Together, we can end the polio scourge. With these words, ladies and gentlemen, I declare the first round of the national polio vaccination campaign officially launched. I thank you, Tatenda Siabona.